need to show you how to install the same client enterprise. The version I'm installing right now is uh, 4.1 and I would like to start to show how to install the synchronizer part that is the server part of, of Sync Client Enterprise. So the first thing you will do is you need to have a physical machine where you can install a Hyper-V uh, for 2008 server. So you start by starting the server manager and then you say add roles next and select the Hyper-V role and click next again then you select the network you would like to use for the virtual networks and install it Can you reboot the machine? After the system is rebooted, open up the server manager again. Let it complete the configuration. Select the Hyper-V and to the Hyper-V manager, connect to the, so, uh, to the local server. Next is that we need to um, install a virtual network. Must be external. Rename. and the name must be extern external network and click OK The next thing you need to do is to make sure that enhanced security configuration is turned off. You can see if it's turned on or off here. And if it's off, you don't need to do anything. But if it's on, you can turn it off here. The next thing you can do is to Check the firewall settings. And in this demo, I will turn it off. Also make sure that you don't have any previous SQL running on, on the server you installed it. Now we're done preparing the server. Now we would like to install the synchronize the software, double click it. Ok, 
click next read the license agreement and accept them and I'm gonna install the central server that is to synchronize the server you can also install a remote server if you want to offload the central server I will give it a server name and you can type in a description if you want check for the drive where you want to install and I will put everything on the D drive and here you can change the the ports that the synchronizer is using here enter the different information for the SSL certificate And here, type a password for the account that you want to use. And I'm going to use SQL Express. If you have an existing database, you can use that as well. And this is the password for the SA account. And installation is completed and we need to restart the server we log in again and basically you're now ready to connect to the synchronizer Log in with administrator account. And here we have the synchronizer for Sync Client Enterprise. That's all for this video. Uh, one note is that you can of course also install the synchronizer on Hyper-V in a virtual machine, but in this example I installed it on physical hardware. Thank you very much for watching and watch my next movies where I will show you how to create a virtual machine on the same client and how to publish it for use. Thank you and goodbye.